before I go into our main video, make una watch this video. Make una see the reason why the Northerners they flag the Russia flag and the born Nigeria flag. Make una watch. I'm a Patrickis Ada and Nigeria. Baron Pay Chimuku. To Lumbo the Airlines in this camel like a company main or one do. Some numbers that it is say come from the main Ajib and Nigeria ba. When the Shukum moment like can rejoin main you without Goma Shabako in Kumaina or Garwa May, million Goma Shad they are coach Shikara. So would I can rejoin mana, Malaka Yalam to Lumbuni. Buy an unhawkward than you may say touch your dominchel Peter, Dizel the Soran Sue. Memoka Tachima and Nigeria ah ah, say Akzab Kasar Malta on the quarter of legacy we can get Maba. Gatchem bear, Mesa, Kasa, Kamar, Nigeria, Bati, a touchy meba, a marcus of the quotable legacy for Taka Girmaba, Bati, a touchy man, the Mutan and Nigeras, Dugara, a key. As she got to do with the woman shot there, Babun Company, Maina Malta, Enemid, Yeratabu Hanu, a country, Dumbada, Aramus, and Antinta, Nasar Rapame, the Ajiwa Zua, the Company Ras Hanzer. So I seek a man like a Company Ras Hanzer. Yalan to Lumbu, Agarkashin Jagur and Chumwali to Lumbu, the Timokon Adiwali to Lumbu Junior. Wale tare da iyalan Tulubu sune kuma suke shugabancin kamfanin Owando wanda na ba ku labari tun farko yau wato bari mu sauka bayanan iyalan Tulubu sun mallaki kamfanin Owando wanda yake rijiyoyin mai na Egypt yanzu kuma ya karba aran kamfanin sarrafa mai a Malta da sunan Ras Hanzar to idan ba ku rude ba je za ka Ras Hanzar mallaka iyalan Tulubu ya kafa matatar mai a Malta sannan kuma ya sai kamfanin sarrafa mai da Ajimin da ya karba aro a shekarta 2021 so, we haka yanzu suna da rijiyoyin mai kamfanin tace mai kamfanin sarrafa mai da wuraren aje tace cin mai saura shugo da mai ne kawai ya rage Nigeria saboda haka tunubu na zama shugaban kasa abin da ya fara yi shi ne cire tallafin man Peter saboda arzikin shekaru kuma duk da haka akwai tallafin da yake biya a boye daga asusun kasa zuwa nashi aljihun kamun ya ida cire tallafin baki daya ya zama daga aljihun ku ne yake zuwa nashi aljihun Ya hako, ya sero da kenshi, ya kai malta, ya sarrafa sannan ya dawo kuma ya sayar muku. Kuma ya dabi kuri daga asusun kasa ya biya kenshi tallafin man Peter. Ga kuma alaka wannan zalucin da farashin dala. Nigeria tana samun dala ne idan ta sayar da danyen mai ga kasashen waje. To in ta sayar da man sannan ta dibo wannan dalolin ta dawo da su gida, kun ga za a samu rata dala farashin dala zai kasa. Amma me yasa ba a samu rata dala a Nigeria? saboda idan an sai da danyen man ana amfani da dalolin ne a suta ta cin mai da kasar waje yanzu mafi akasari daga kasar Malta da wajen sama da dala biliyan biyu a shekara ta 2023 ka tal wannan zai san Najeriya ba ta da isa sun dalolin da za ta kawo gida ta sayar damarin da zai kara farashin dala to sai dai waye a halin yanzu yake da isa sun daloli da zai iya dawowa gida ya sayar a farashi mai yawa tulumbu da iyalan sa kai kuma dan gwata da karambani sai ka gina matatan man da ya fi kowanne girma a duk fadin duniya ko ka san me haka zai jawo farashin mai a cikin Najeriya da farashin dala so for somebody to tell you say na you don't turn na you don't reach i mean that should send a signal to us that this person i did the resources of the land he get waiting in one tap so in no mind say all the money we in get is until win the election because of the thing we be say e i day for now i'm gonna, I'm gonna see people for streets i mean is this the nigeria we hope for i know say, a lot of us make mistakes a lot of people make mistakes by voting tenable as we talk we shout we say this man not getting a matter for heart but yet people still went ahead i was literally crying when i saw a video of one woman, they carry one for front, carry one for back. They beg Tinubu, say, I beg. He join the people who vote for him. Say, I beg. He just go beg him. Say, I beg. Say, I beg. Say, they suffer too much. Things are too hard in this country. I'm into POS business, but I don't have capital to run it. I take money from people that want to deposit. I borrow money all around to do business. Things are too hard. I have other children. These are the, my last twins. I have other children I feed. My husband's business crumbled. My husband is into oil business. His business crumbled because of transport, feeding, and all that. These are too hard. All I'm here to do is protect, to tell the president, our daddy Tinubu, we are the one that voted you in. We don't have to suffer for it. Please see to the situation of this country. 
Things are too hard. I have to come all the way from Migodo to be here. Nobody knows I'm here in my family. But I think about it. I'm also, uh, I'm almost going through depression because things are too hard. I buy Pampas 150, 100 Naira, 120. Things are not easy for us. I'm here to fight for, for my family too. Things are too hard. Please see to the situation of this country. All we are asking of, we are begging for our rights. I know she my children free. My children now, I get like five children. Now pay all that. Then they take shock. To tell now how this government be, it is very easy for them to catch the ones who be say if they commit the small small crime. But the ones where they the top where they commit the highest crime, they know they arrest them. This man where they sold the flag, the Russia flag, they don't arrest them. Now this person where they call FS Yusuf Kontok say the tailor producing the Russia flag in Kanu has been arrested. Hmm. Remaining the tailor producing the hunger. <laughs> My country people, it is true. Then the same post or similar post contact say they give Tunubu two options and the option I be say make it dissolve the government immediately and proclaim the formation of a government of a nation of unity or he go come out for where he sit down as a president and go into exile they say now only those two options that they given they say failure to consider any of these options will will likely drive Nigerians into political, economic, and social crisis of huge proportion. I pray that you find the wisdom, courage, discipline, and statesmanship to act on my advice. So the guy write a very long one, but I just briefly the last one. Now I just say, okay, make I read down to Una. My country people, Una see now the very person will be say he did the lowest form of crime. Now they suffer around. But that one way they the top where they move money. Especially that Baby will not fee even read millions. He not fee read them. He look and look and look and look and look and he say ah this money is too much for me. It's too much. <laughs> but you not go too much for your bank accounts. Wow, wow. Wanna see disgrace. Nigeria where they produce oil, they don't get any active refinery. Zero. Now we get. See other countries. See how many refineries they get. Some get 129 US. 129 refineries. Now US get. But Nigeria is zero. Who do us? Who do us? It is shocking. Say people will back up to Nubu and they come they cry past say his speech no make sense. This one are the same people will be say during the election they come they quote law they they come they talk now they they talk and say his speech you no know, oh water say they are say expecting more. So Tinubu don't you know he don't send message give he, he people where they pack follow body where he battalion say they get order meeting to the order meeting we be say he want oh wait he pass the one the speech we don't give because I they wonder the difference we will be because so far so good now all these military people now come out come they arrest the people where they fly the Russian flag where they come to arrest the tailor where they sew the clothes so we never see the thing where Tinubu really do. About this hunger matter, it's not addressing the needful. How can the president address the country for seven minutes and he did not make any mention of hunger at all? It's as if he's not aware what we are protesting. He's not aware, so we are here to echo it again to him. Hunger day, hunger day. Period. Whether they beat us, whether they intimidate us, whether they frustrate us. Even if they lock us up, it's not going to change the fact that hunger day. Before I play the final video, I might just chuck this one inside. So this video they trained online scenes about this man Chris Oba for United Kingdom. So he can use some certain people to work for a house. But it be like saying he no one pay the money where they negotiate. And you could see the way the man was talking. Like saying a Nigeria na day.
And the girl was almost saying that I don't record them more. I get evidence. So I want to go show Ogbalikbe. So the man was even, you could see his reaction. You could see that anger in him. So for those of you who never seen the video, might let him play. Hello, hello. Look at me. Look at me. Do that again. Do that again. You're fighting him. Yeah, you're hitting the man. Why are you hitting him? Why are you hitting him? Shut up. Get out. Do you see? Get out. You see? Yeah, he, doesn't like want to pay. he doesn't want to pay the money. We've yeah. done work for him. Yeah. The whole house. Is that right, Suleiman? Yes. So he's trying to beat him. He's a hard man. Yes. Are you a hard man, yeah? yeah? Are you a tough man? Yes, he beat me here. Tough man. Yeah. Excuse me, look at me. Yeah. The police are going to see that now, yeah? You don't want to pay money, yeah? yeah? You don't? Yes, Christian. Yes. Yes, Christian. I want to salute every courageous Nigerian that has come out to peacefully protest for this diabolical government on the, the hashtag end bad governance. This is the time to do it. Don't you relent. Don't get tired. Don't allow the people make you chicken out. Because if you do this now, you're just giving them fuel. You're giving them power to do more than what they are doing currently. Some people were telling me, Haruna, what are you expecting Tinubu to say? Because we're waiting for his uh, national address for him to address the nation. I said to them, it's a waste of time. Do you think Tinubu has a heart? Does he feel what Nigerians are feeling? People were dying. Do, did he really care? Tinubu doesn't care. Everything is about him, and he has surrounded himself with psychopaths. He has surrounded himself, himself with selfish, evil, heartless people who don't care. The death of people is what they thrive, what they succeed in, what they are happy about. So Nigerians dying to them is nothing. So somebody expecting Tinubu will come and address all the grievances that Nigerians have. Does he care? You rem you've forgotten how he killed innocent young protesters uh, in uh, what, at, at, at Lake Toll Gate in 2020. What has come out of that? So they have released the army, uh, the, sorry, they have released the police now during this protest. We know what is already happening. So the idea of people should chicken out, if you chicken out from the protest now, you are giving them fuel. It will be difficult to come out next time. People are tired. People are discouraged. People are hungry. People are dying. He came, he said, I will hit the ground running, running without running with your mandate, stealing the, the resources of the nation, embezzling, feeding themselves fat. We said that we don't have money now. Why are you still running an expensive, robust government when you don't have what it takes? They are borrowing money, using it on themselves. And then some are telling Nigerians, please stop protesting, stop protesting. And they have sent people to come in with some enemies of the nation, enemies of the people to come and try to infiltrate. And yet, people are, they, they are bent, they said, we're not giving up, we're coming out. And then they went and killed innocent protesters. And some people are quiet. For Tinubu, after the death of innocent Nigerians, to come and speak the way he did on television. And I want to tell you, Nigerians, you are thinking this man has a heart. He doesn't have a heart. He is evil and wicked. He is dining with the devil and has surrounded himself on that table where they are dining with Satan, Lucifer. They are doing the same. So don't think it is when we fold our hands and wait, then one day they will change. Did he address all the items? In fact, to me, I think we should concentrate just if on just two items for now and say he must bring back the fuel pump, bring, reverse this thing about fuel subsidy because it is a scam. They are the ones that are benefiting from it. So it must be reversed with immediate effect. And that is going to affect the prices of things. It's going to affect the economy. It's going to affect the living standard of people. Now people cannot eat. They are feeding themselves fat. He wants to buy another airplane. He wants to uh, uh, build a, a place for the vice president. What have they done to deserve another new place? And then talking about his wife. And they say she's a pastor. I don't know what kind of pastor. You see, you know, Nigerian, this religious thing is the one that is keeping us backward. People who think we are going to only eat religion. I'm a religious person. But I'm telling you, I have seen, God gave us a brain. We must use our brain. Tinubu is very smart, very cunning. That's why he knows how to handle Nigerians. Ah, they will soon get tired. They will leave the street. Just leave them. Then they will send other. See what is happening in Kano. I'm not happy because it appears as if it's been infiltrated. I see them raising flags. Whether it's the flag of Russia, are they asking we should do what? We should go to Russia or what? Oh, some, some people said to me, no, I don't think it's Russia. They think it's the army, the army uh, flag. Are they calling on the army? 
No, it's not the army, it's not Russia, it's not anyone, it's not Burkina Faso, it's not Niger to help us. Nigerians must stand up to help themselves. Don't tell your son or your daughter, don't go out. What do you have for them? Do you have a job for them? Are you helping them? They are unemployed, nothing to do. They are coming out to protest. They are killing them instead of Nigerians standing up and saying, we will not let this thing, foolishness continue. This evil continue. It is time every Nigerian will join hand, whether you are from the north, south, east, or west. The suffering is too much. So let's just say, even if we start with two key demands, let's insist he must reverse the oil subsidy because it's a scam. Number two, Mahmoud Yakubu hashtag Mahmoud Yakubu must be removed with immediate effect, and there has, has to be a complete overhaul uh, of uh, of uh, the uh, INEC because it doesn't matter what we do. Go out and vote, vote Peter or be vote Atiku, vote Conquer. So vote whoever you vote Showore. It doesn't matter. Your vote will not count as long as this Agbado master, this trick star, this person that doesn't know anything called integrity or sanity is on the throne. If he could corruptly get himself there, using Mahmoud, using the corrupt judges to do what they did when he was still outside, what do you think he will do in 2027? Some people are saying, let's wait and go and vote. Vote for wasted votes. When they would steal the election, run with it, and then use it to oppress the people. So this is the time to team up and say we are not going back until there is an electoral reform. Mahmoud Yakubu must be removed with immediate effect. And Nigerians must be involved in deciding the process of who should be elected, or sorry, who should be appointed. People should go for interview. Let the nation ask them, who are you? What? What's your track record? What have you done? Are you known to be a man or a woman of integrity? People that are fearless but have a heart for the people. That will not dance to the tune of these evil people that have stolen money and they are using money to buy their way to, into power and remain in power oppressing the people. And these senators are also on the same page. Wicked people, people in the House of Rep, the governors. And even the people in the different houses of assembly, it's all about grab, 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 eat, 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 while the people are dying. Wicked people. There's no going back. No Nigerian should back up, back down. Keep going. If you can't go out, support the ones that are going out. Support them and the army, the police. Don't kill another Nigerian. They're already suffering, already dying. You don't have what. Instead of going to Sambisa Forest, instead of going to where all those you know, kidnappers are, and they have overpowered you, but you know how to come and tear gas, innocent, uh, harmless, unarmed protesters. You come up against them. Weak people. The army is so weak. Then uh, what's your name? The, 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 the chief of the army, uh, the, the, the person, you come there and be telling people, don't do this, don't do that. Go and protect Nigerians. You people don't know how to do that. You can't fish out who are the people that are behind this kidnapping. Daily Nigerians are suffering, but you can't go after them. You know how to go after innocent, unarmed protesters, weak police, weak army, weak regime, wicked. God will deal with you. This is the time. Nigerians, don't let these people go free. Enough is enough. The suffering is too much. While we are suffering, they are telling us, let's give them time. But they are enjoying so which time? Until people all die? What, what are we saying? Nigerian, are you seeing what is going on? You're a father, you're a mother, let your children go. God will protect them. We are not backing down. We are not going back until we take our nation back. Somebody say, Haruna, you're angry. I am more than angry. You are wicked. You, this politician. It is time. Release Nigerians. Let them go free. Few of you. Few of you, you have taken the nation hostage. Everything is about you. God will punish and judge you. No going back until we take our nation back. This is BOD TV Board. In case the first time you come here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more uploads.